Craig, yeah, if you could come back as any animal, what would it be and why? Um, I, if I could come back to the show or... The, I, <laughs> I would like to come back as something that wasn't edible, obviously. <laughs> um, I think probably a hippopotamus because they look cute, but they're dead. They're nasty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they're big. Yeah, they're big. And you know that hippo more people are killed by hippopotami than by mm. spiders. I'm making this up, but it sounds uh, possibly <laughs> true. Sounds plausible. <laughs> it might be true. They're very dangerous. Are you still meat free? Yeah, I'm still vegan, yeah. I I, although I have, I've, I've got to be honest with you. Yeah. There's a couple of things have happened in the past year. Some incidents with cheese? Well, incidents with cheese and, and worse. I went to Sweden and I had a meatball. Oh, oh. <laughs> well. And uh, then, you know, if your body is not used to it, oh my. <laughs> that, was, that, was a, that was an interesting few hours. Oh, man, no. <laughs> they aren't asking me back to Stockholm anytime soon. <laughs> when I say Stockholm syndrome, it means something else completely <laughs> to me. Then. Oh my God, it's a man! Hey! Woo! Hey! How are you doing? I remember your time. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Rachel. Hi. Uh, Craig, you seem very in touch with your feelings, and I'd like to know what annoys you the most on a daily basis. Oh. Way to bring up some negative feelings yeah, while he's yeah. still on my show. Thank you. Yeah, and also, the whole thing is, you, I felt that, that you seem to be in touch with your feelings was a little judgmental. You feel that was, that was a little passive aggressive, I think. No, uh, no, what, what, I guess I don't know. mean people saying bad stuff? Yes. Yeah, mean people saying bad stuff. As they, yeah. as they literally put on bumper stickers, mean people suck. They do. Awful. This is fun. You guys are really good at this. Kudos. <laughs> Hi, Craig. Um, so what TV show are you most embarrassed to admit that you watch? Oh. I, Do you have any uh, television shame? Uh, I actually don't feel a great deal of shame about that. You know, I mean, look, yeah. there's stuff in my life I'm <laughs> profoundly embarrassed about. <laughs> but what I watch on TV, you know, uh, some things that might surprise you. I, I guess I, I watch a lot of... Uh, um, house renovation shows, but I married to a woman, um, <laughs> and I watch uh, I watch a lot of uh, documentaries about World War Two. But I'm a dad, you know. And when everyone goes to sleep, I go downstairs, I turn on the TV, and the Germans were amassing their forces. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't I don't have any TV shows. Yeah, I don't, I don't have guilt when it comes to entertainment. Hi, Craig. Hi. So Hi. my question is, what's one item that you can't live without? Oh, just one? What a drag. <laughs> have to pick. Probably a one item I, I get that I couldn't live without. Mm -hmm. mm. Gosh, I, I, maybe underpants? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think if I'm on it, I hope I could live without any item, I think. Uh, but yeah, underwear is helpful. You get to a certain age, underwear is no longer a fashion choice. It's just an absolute necessity. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's like, keep it up come there. on, everybody. All right, everybody, get in one place. We're going to the movies, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for putting that in my head. Yeah, you know. All right, bring us home. Hello. Hi, Rachel. I'm so excited to be here today, so thank you for such an awesome day. Craig, what is the strangest celebrity interview you've ever had? Oh, wow. Well, uh, the strangest celebrity interview? Mm. Um, I, it's, so many celebrities are strange. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I think, you know, in all honesty, in all the times that I was doing that, I kind of tried to not ever really talk about it because I felt like it was unfair to the people that had been in the conversation, you know what I mean? Um, maybe there was once very early on when my mother was alive and I was doing the late night show in the first year or two. I mean, my mother might not be a celebrity to you, but she was to me. And the, when I was sitting in an American late night TV show and my mother, I, I had my mother on as a guest. And she came out and she was talking and I realized at one point she was like, Oh, well, when you were a wee boy, Craig, and stuff. And I was like, this is very strange. <laughs> <laughs> like, the band are all waiting, and everyone's like, da 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 da, -da. And my mum was like, oh, this is nice, isn't it? <laughs> and you're like, awkward. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. You did a great job. Good job, audience. <laughs>